On the Welsh Pubs Collection tab, you should see a view selector on the right. Select Table View from the drop-down list to view the documents in a grid that contains one column for each top-level field in the documents. You'll notice that not all data is displayed the same way. Fields defined with objects show the total number of fields in each embedded document. Fields defined with array show the total number of elements in each array. All other fields display the scalar values like string data for the name field and int32 data for FSA underscore ID field. You can make this easier to see by changing Studio 3T preferences to control how elements are displayed. Select Preferences from the Studio 3T menu in Mac OS or from the Edit menu in Windows to open up the Preferences dialog box. Here you can personalise the interface such as auto-expanding the first document in Tree View or switching over to the Type Colours section where you can assign different colours to different data types. Once we apply these settings it should be easier to see which fields are defined with which data types. We can easily see that the address field has embedded documents, for instance. Double-click any address value to go one level deeper. The grid now displays the individual values of the embedded documents, along with the underscore ID values. To return to the top-level fields in the grid, click the link in the breadcrumb navigator just above the grid. But this isn't the only way to view your data. If we select Tree View from the drop-down list instead, we'll see the document data in a grid that contains only three columns – key, value and type – with each document in its own row. Notice that the type column displays the type of data of each field. The address and location fields are configured with the object data type because they contain embedded documents. Click the arrow to the left of the address field to expand the field and display individual fields in the embedded document. Expand the Location field to view the individual geospatial fields. Sometimes it's preferable to view documents in the JSON format. You can do this by selecting JSON View from the drop-down. This is a lot more consistent with how data is added and stored in a MongoDB database. For now, return to Table View and leave the collection open for the next exercise.